Welcome back to Better Built Life. Today we are in the Southwest Desert where California and Arizona meet in the most southern corner. Look how beautiful it is out here. Just stunning. And well, we kind of did a thing. Yep, bought a new RV. So stick with us for a tour of the trailer. All right, let's take a look at the window sticker. This is a Keystone Springdale 242 RKWE. And yes, it is a 2022 model. We've got the Midnight Decor. It's got the Arctic package, which means it keeps the, the tanks and the, the uh, pipes underneath warm when the heater's running so they don't freeze up. It's got a couple other things, it's got solar, Let's take a look at the uh, suggested retail price. Yeah, $52,380. Now we all know that that's not a realistic price for this travel trailer. It is new, although it is a 2022 model. It's, uh, it just, it didn't, didn't get sold and we found it. There was, it was one of two and uh, we liked it. It is an entry level travel trailer. It's a, 24 foot trailer and then I think 28 up to the tongue. This one does not have a bunkhouse like our other RV does um, but it's pretty nice for what it is. Uh, it's got a lot more perks than our other RV does and I'm going to go over some of those right now. Starting on the outside if you can see that that is a switch for the uh, electric stabilizer jacks. Those are very nice to have. Much appreciated over what we had on our other trailer. Let's come around here. It does have an electric tongue jack, which I wouldn't have any other way. It came with the standard propane tanks up front and two batteries, which will be replaced very quickly. It does have a kill switch right there, which my other trailer did not have, which ended up killing my batteries at one point. Um, let's see, water inlet, tank, and city water connection. It's a little crowded in here, guys, but I'm gonna show you something. Whoa. A lot of stuff in here. I don't know if you can see that box hanging from the from the top there, but that is a Xantrex inverter. It did come with an inverter and a great quality, but pretty pretty small time uh, charge controller. If you couldn't see that over there, Victron. It's a uh, 7515, so it can't handle a whole lot of solar, but it came with it nonetheless. All right, so this trailer has two gray tanks, one black tank. Of course, the outside shower and uh, black tank flush, which our other trailer did not have. <laughs> There's your black tank uh, outlet valve or hose or connection, whatever you want to call it. And the gray is over there. The gray just drains out into the into this outlet right here. Um, it is a two axle trailer. It has one small slide. You'll see that on the inside, but it is the dinette. 
I forgot to show you, but it has the tank drain right there if you want to get rid of all the water in the RV. It does have the protected plastic underneath here to seal off the bottom. All the windows are sliders, which I really appreciate. I hated the crank windows on my other trailer. The other gray tank is over here. Right here. And that is coming directly and only from the kitchen sink. Got your cable and your satellite connections here. This is the back where the refrigerator is right here. Currently I'm only using these two solar panels. It does have 200 watts of solar on top, which is charging those batteries up at the front of the tongue. This is charging something else. I showed it on my other channel, but it is this device right here, which is hard to see because I have it shaded on purpose. But that is a 280 amp hour lithium iron phosphate power station that I built a couple of years ago with a 2000 watt Ren energy inverter. It can charge from solar as it is right now and from shore power. That little power station that I built will power this entire trailer with the exception of the air conditioner. Coming around, we also have electric stabilizer jacks on the back side of the trailer. This is where the water heater is. So when you turn the water on at the kitchen sink, it's hot immediately. It's gonna take a little bit of time to get over to the shower, which is pretty much mid floor. It does have an awning here, which I'm not too, too uh, impressed with. I'm not really liking this style because you can't lock it down into an angle that you want. It just kind of floats there, but uh, it does have LED, uh, basically a string light up there that acts as your porch light. It does have outside speakers, not the greatest. I will be replacing those. All right, we're about to move inside. It does have the door that is, uh, I don't know what you call it, anti-slam or anti-swing. It just, it stays where it is. So the wind's not gonna grab it and slam it open or closed. And it came with the Lippert solid steps, which is really nice. These are great when installed properly. Uh, really, really impressed with these. Way better than our last trailer. All right, going on in. It's a little dark in here, guys. I might actually turn some light on. I think I will. Whoa. Here's the control panel here. And we'll turn some light on in here. All right, so coming on in, we've got a few outlets, not a ton in this trailer, but some of them are inverted from the Xantrex inverter and the rest run off of shore power, which I use when I plug into my power station. So a nice little sofa, really like the materials they use and it does fold out into a bed. My son slept there last night. I really like the color scheme on the cabinets versus the white interior walls got a digital dometic thermostat for the uh, ac and the furnace coming around we've got our pantry here and our kitchen so i like this setup my wife really loves this setup in this trailer compared to our last one um, it's very nice uh, it feels more compartmentalized as a kitchen uh, we installed the paper towel uh, rack or holder, whatever you want to call it. And we installed some hooks to hang hand towels and stuff. This came with the trailer. This is magnetic to hold your knives and it's got some hooks on it to hang stuff. This is one of the inverted outlets back here. And coming along, uh, we got ourselves a dehumidifier, which did not come with the trailer, obviously. But we have one nonetheless and it does work very well. My wife picked this up on Amazon. It is a dish drainer that fits perfectly back here. And it has a drain in this, from this pan that swivels. So no matter how you orient, orientate this thing, it will, the drain will make it to your sink. This is a much larger sink than what we had. Um, 
I guess it's not. I guess the other sink, it had a divider like right here, a hump, if you will, to separate the two sides. Really not, this side was really not useful at all. And then this side wasn't quite big enough. This is really nice. It, uh, it's the whole, it's a whole huge sink. And then you have this little rack on top to like help dry dishes or whatever. And then this really nice faucet that comes off. It's got the spray function and all that. It's, it's really nice. A lot, lot nicer than our last one. Um, we got a Greystone stove and oven. So far, we like it. It's uh, pretty nice. Not real big on the inside, but it's about uh, maybe, maybe a hair shorter than our other oven, but I think it's a hair wider. So kind of makes up the difference. And then a typical refrigerator. Uh, it's an auto gas electric, not, not 12 volt, just gas or electric. Microwave, cabinets up top, very nice. And then this is our slide out. <laughs> It's the dinette. Uh, it's a wraparound booth style, which is really nice. And then the table is not fixed. It actually comes right out of there. You just slide it in or out. And it'll, uh, you can move a switch down there and lower the table down to like a coffee table size to put right here. Or you can set it on these little, little brackets and turn this into a bed. So that's pretty nice. And then this is the entertainment center. The speakers on the inside are pretty nice. Um, it is a Jensen. I think most of them are all Jensen's. Uh, Bluetooth, HDMI, blah, blah, blah. And then we installed a little TV in here. All right, moving on right along. This door is our bathroom. The bathroom's a lot nicer than our last one. It actually has a porcelain foot flush toilet. Very nice to have. We did install the toilet paper holder there. It's got a nicer shower in it, for sure. Glass doors, not sure about that, but we'll see. But uh, pretty good, pretty good headroom in there. I could take a shower in there, I'm six foot tall. Pretty small little cabinet here for the sink and the faucet. I will be changing this out to a taller faucet that comes up and loops over uh, just so you can get your hands under there better. I just, I really don't like these short profile faucets. We have an entry door on a slider from the bathroom that runs to the bedroom. Kind of neat, but we also have a dedicated door for our bedroom here. And then it's the typical front bedroom that you pretty much see on all trailers. It's got kind of a carpeted nightstand on that side. You can't very well see it, but there is an outlet back there that's inverted from the inverter. It's got a window there, a cabinet to hang all your things up, put your stuff in. We've got these shelves right here that it comes with. Uh, it does not come with these little uh, totes. I think we got these at Walmart and we got those up there at uh, Target. <clears throat> on this side, neatly, uh, this little, has a little trap door and you open it and that's the uh, storage compartment from the outside on the side there. And you can put a laundry bag right there and just dump all your dirty clothes in there. Pretty neat. So this trailer comes with two roof vents. One is here in the bedroom. It does not have a fan. And one is here in the bathroom. It does have a cheapo fan. We will be replacing both of those, both of them, with probably a Max Air fan. This one does not have power to it, but there are lights right here that I can pull power from if I want to. There's even an outlet over there I can pull power from if I really need to. All right, guys, that's a look at our trailer inside and out. Let's go ahead and head back outside. All right, so we're at a location here. Uh, technically, we're in California, but we're literally like a few miles from Arizona, probably 
eight miles from Arizona, nine miles. And we, re we really live only like 30 minutes from here. But this is a place we've been coming to and camping for many, many years. And we absolutely love it. It looks like we're about ready to get dumped on with rain. Unfortunately, I don't know where all this just came from, but <laughs> we're gonna get wet. Rut row. Anyways, uh, yeah, I wasn't expecting that, but uh, might get interesting here in a little bit. Anyways, I just wanted to let you guys know what we're doing. Um, we got us a new RV. Nothing crazy. Oh, by the way, as far as the price, we didn't pay anywhere near that uh, retail value. Um, not even close. Practically, practically half, to be quite honest. So, uh, got a pretty good deal on it, I think. Anyways, this is our very first trip out in it, um, literally. I would have showed you more of the trip out here, but it was getting dark and I didn't want to pull the camera out. And now it's getting dark because of the clouds. So it looks like we are going to get stormed on here any moment. So I'm gonna turn this camera off now and kind of button some things up and get some stuff put away before they get soaked and ruined. So anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. I just want to give you guys a tour of our new trailer. We'll be going and camping some more here in the future. It's been a while since we've done it. We've been missing it. We wanted to get back into it and now we can. So you guys take care, be safe, and I'll see you in the next video.